Hello and welcome to the preview to the view from the 2019 IMF and World Bank annual meetings. I'm joined today by John Everington, who is the banker's Middle East and Africa editor. John, thanks for being here. Hi, James. Next week, we'll be in Washington, D.C. for the annual meetings. Um, the agenda is packed. Looks like an interesting um, set of sessions um, to be had. What are you expecting um, to hear on, uh, from Africa this year? It's going to be an interesting one, actually, James. There are several issues which are facing uh, Africa at this time, um, several challenges, several opportunities. Um, particularly uh, with the sort of the uncertain economic outlook uh, globally uh, at this time with the US and China trade uh, sort of disagreement, shall we say. Um, emerging markets get affected by that in a big way, and that's particularly the case for Africa. So a number of economies are really kind of trying to take some remedial action, trying to protect themselves in such um, difficult and uncertain times. That's perhaps the sort of the challenging side. There's also the impact from climate change, which is being felt um, quite in quite a massive way in a number of markets uh, in terms of drought, in terms of flooding, in terms of uh, the sort of the cyclones and such. Uh, all these are going to impact on the economy as well. At the same time in Africa, there are quite a few um, big changes which are happening, particularly the African continental free trade area, which is just becoming coming into force at this point in time. Uh, that uh, has a potentially massive impact on, on regional economies. So it's going to be really interesting to sort of like talk to people there and just see what um, their hopes are for that and what kind of the challenges need to be, what challenges need to be overcome and what preparations need to come forward. But also, I mean, and also the sort of what that's going to unlock in the future, I'd say. And you mentioned there at the start the, um, the growing tensions in the global trade arena. Obviously, that will have huge implications for the Middle East as well. Mm -hmm. um, what's on the agenda for the Middle East this year? Well, particularly, I mean, as you say, uh, very big impact on the Middle East, with, particularly with the oil producers in, in the GCC, uh, how that's going to impact their economies. Uh, for them, it's really um, this is part of a sort of a diversification story, which has been going on for a number of years now, but is becoming increasingly more acute as these economies try to sort of um, diversify away from their reliance on sort of oil and gas. So, and, and there are a number of issues around that. I mean, of course, they have to sort of speed up that initiative at this point in time. But at the same time, there are questions about, OK, how is this going to be funded? How is this going to be paid for? Um, how do they include others in this, I mean, from outside? So there are a number of issues in terms of foreign investment, a very big story in Saudi Arabia at this particular point in time, and also kind of some of the funding structures, particularly PPP, which is being embraced by um, banks within the region and also by governments in a major way. So a number of very interesting areas there. And of course, I mean, there's plenty going on within Europe as well, which is your beat, uh, James. Um, and particularly the ECB stimulus is going to have um, quite an impact. That's correct, yes. There's a lot of pressure on the Eurozone right now um, in terms of slowdowns in Germany, slowdowns in Italy. Um, inflation is, is low, growth is low. So uh, the picture is reasonably bleak and the ECB has responded to that with a new set of uh, monetary stimulus measures. Um, these were introduced uh, in September 2019. But um, there was a lot of opposition within the ECB to some of these, um, uh, some of the constituent parts of that package, including um, a further reduction of negative interest rates um, and a return to, to QE, um, which uh, caused some uh, some backlash in some quarters, particularly from Germany mm -hmm. as well as in France um, and and the Netherlands. So it'll be interesting to see how those um, those tensions play out, perhaps um, at the the, the uh, IMF and World Bank annual meetings, um, and beyond that as well. There's some interesting discussions taking place around um, sort of the greening of the financial system globally and what role um, central banks can really play um, in that fight against uh, climate-related risks to the global economy. So I'll be looking forward to, to hearing more about that uh, when I'm out there. Um, but for now, John, uh, thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you in Washington. Looking forward to it. Thank you.